hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're watching me for the first time it's your girl lizzie thank you guys for watching this video for returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i love you all so much so today i'm going to show you all how to tie a round full ghillie and it is very very simple so the first thing i'm going to do is to fold the edge of the gilly which is the width of the gilly and i'm just going to fold that in because i don't want the edge of the gilly to look rough so i'm going to fold that in thereafter i'm going to make pleats so this is a beginner friendly tutorial i'm going to try to be as detailed as possible so what you want to do is to fold the edge of the gilly and then make pleats so at this point the number of pleats you make depends on how big your gilly is so this particular gilly i have five tiers joined together like one two three four five they are about five joined together so it is very 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 big in terms of um the length the length is really really big and as you can see from the video the width is also long so i'm going to put the measurement down so that you guys can also know what i am using at this point so right now after making the pleats i'll just trace the pleats down towards her neck area on the right hand side of her face and also on the left hand side of her face so since this is going to be a round gilly the measurement for this gilly tutorial is 80 20 so you have to make sure that one hand of the gilly is really really longer than the other hand of the gilly so the shorter part of the gilly which is the 20 part of the gilly is what she is she is holding right now while the longer part of the gilly which is the 80 part of the gilly is what i am holding so i'm just tracing the pleat down towards her neck area so that it will be easier for me when i bring it to the front to start tracing the pleats over again i hope that you guys understand so you have to make sure that you trace the pleats down towards her neck area on the right hand side and also on the left hand side so at this point we have our pleats for the base ghillie this is the base of the ghillie so when making pleats at this point you have to make sure that the pleats are behind each other every pleat falls behind the other one that is the pleats should be behind each other i hope that that is understood and so when you bring the long hand of the gilly to the front you can then start making your formation you can now place the pleats on top of each other so that it will give you that round beautiful formation i hope that that is understood so at this point i'm just arranging the pleats so that everything looks really really nice so we all know that the beauty of gilly is pleats you have to make sure that your pleats are well laid let everything look very very neat you have to make sure that they are properly laid so right now i'm going to pick the 80 part of the ghillie sorry guys i forgot to tell you all the shorter part of the ghillie should stay on top while the longer part of the ghillie goes under that it comes under and then you can start making your plates so don't forget that the shorter part of the ghillie should stay on top when you're trying to make that switch at the back of her head the shorter part of the ghillie should stay on top while the longer part of the ghillie should stay under as you can see the longer part of the ghillie that i'm trying to make plates on right now is coming from under which is the back of her neck so at this point i am going to start making my round pleats this is where the ghillie becomes more beautiful so you really need to take your time to make sure that your pleats are well laid like i said before so i'm making my pleats right now and as you can see in the video it's really really easy for me to make my pleats because when i because after tracing the pleats down towards her neck area it was actually easier for me to you know just bring it to the front and then start making the pleats if you follow that method you'll discover that it will be very very easy for you so right now i'm just going to make the pleats on top of each other unlike when we did it with when we made pleats with the base gilly i, I said that the pleats should be behind each other but when you bring the 80 part of the ghillie to the front at this point you want that round formation that very beautiful formation so what you want to do is to make sure that the pleats stay on top of each other 
So like I always emphasize, take your time to make the bleach so that it comes out really, really, really beautiful. So what I am doing is to make the bleach, I'm just going to trace those bleats from her neck area to the middle of her head. From her neck area to the middle of her head and then when I'm done I'm just going to trace from the middle of her head towards the other side of her neck so while you're making your plates make sure that they are on top of each other if they are not on top of each other then I must tell you that you're wrong and you are doing something totally different and also another thing you need to note is while you're making your plates, make sure that you're making them from her neck area to the middle of her head. It should be from the neck area to the middle of her head. This is very, very, very simple. And another thing is the gap in between every plate should be equal. The gap in between every plate should be be equal make sure that you have a good amount of space in between every plate so that it comes out really nice and so that it's not difficult for you to you know achieve this gilly so at this point I'm almost done making the plates from this side of her neck to the middle of her head so what I'm going to do next is to just arrange the plates properly if this were to be a half round ghillie i would stop here twist the remaining part of the ghillie to the back and then pin it but since it's not going to be a half round ghillie i'm going to trace i'm not going to stop here but i'm going to trace the pleats from the middle of her head towards the other side of her neck make sure that you trace down towards her neck don't stop at the her ear area don't stop there make sure that you trace down towards her neck so that it will give you that round beautiful shape so all i'm doing is to just trace the pleats from the middle of her head down towards her neck area and i'm placing every pleat on top of each other so imagine if you're tying this gilly i believe that most of you have um gilly with just four tiers but mine is five because i needed something really really big and i've been working with this gilly for some years so Imagine if you're going to use a ghillie that is just 40 years. All you have to do is to make sure that if you're going to make pleats, like if you're trying to form, uh, make this formation at this point, if you're starting with 10 pleats on the right, right hand side of her face, make sure that you end with 10 pleats on the other side of her face, which is the left hand side of her face. I hope that that is understood. If you're making 20 pleats on one side of her face if you are making the 20 pleats with the formation that is if you are trying to do a formation of 20 pleats on one side of her face let's say the left hand side of her face make sure that the right hand side of her face also ends with 20 pleats that's how you're going to get it and that's how you're going to stand out as a very very good artist so that's just what I'm doing basically so at this point I'm just arranging the pleats so that everything comes out really really nice I really like my ghillie to stand out I like my ghillie to look different and beautiful and that is what I am teaching you guys at this point so like I said before this is a detailed tutorial if you have a beginner if you have someone at home who has said, oh, I want to learn how to tie gilly, just send this video to them, forward this video to them, and they will really be grateful because, of course, like I said, <laughs> this is a beginner-friendly gilly tutorial. And if you follow every step that I'm showing you, you will definitely, definitely get it. So at this point, I'm going to take the remaining hand of the gilly to the back of her neck and I'll make sure that the pleats are still round. I still have that round formation. Okay, let's imagine that I started with um, 15 pleats on the right hand side of her face. I'm going to make sure that I end with 15 pleats on the left hand side of her face. So this is how I am going to knot the gilly at the back. At the 20 part of the gilly, the, the hand that is 20, I'm just going to place my hand at the middle like this and at the 80 part of the, the gilly i'm just going to put my hand in between at the middle like this and then not making sure that my model holds the front of 
the giving so that everything is firm on her head and so that it doesn't unravel so i'm going to knot two times you could actually knot three or two times it all depends on what you want but me and um, for me i'm going to knot two times and when i knot two times i believe that everything looks firm and is nicely done on her head so i'm just going to knot that two times So at this point, I'm going to quickly move over to the front of her face and arrange the pleats properly until I am comfortable with what I have. I really, really like my gele to look very nice, neatly done and properly laid because you want your gele to have that classic and sleek look. I always talk about standing out. Your gele should look different from the way others tie as your gilly should stand out and that is what i am doing right now arranging the pleats properly so that it comes out really really nice so as a beginner you really need to take your time to follow this procedure this process step by step and you know you would definitely get it rome was not built in a day so you have to keep practicing practice they say makes perfect so let's just quickly do a review of what i have said before up until this moment so like i said at the beginning of the video we have the base gele which is the part of the gele that is touching her head directly so when you want to make pleats on the base gele make sure that every pleat fall behind each other so the rule for this gele tutorial today is 80 20 because it's going to be a round gele so one hand of the gele should really be longer than the other part of the gele so when you are trying to make the switch at the back the shorter part of the gele, which is the 20 part of the gele, should stay on top while the longer hand of the gele, which is the 80 part of the gele, should come to the front of her face. I believe that that is properly understood. And when you bring that part of the gele to the front of her face, you should at that point start making the round formation. The pleats at that point should be on top of each other and no longer behind each other because you want that very round, sleek look. So guys, that is it. When you make your pleats from one side of her neck to the middle of her head, when you're done making your pleats, you have to trace those pleats from the middle of her head to, to the other side of her head. So if you're making 20 pleats on the right hand side of her face, it should be 20 on all the left hand side of her face also. So right now, I'm just going to close the back of the gilly. It all depends on what your client wants anyway. Some clients will tell you to open the back of her head because they, maybe their hair is properly made or is neat. But some will tell you to close the back of their head. So this is how to close the back of the gilly. It is very, very simple. So I'm just going to quickly close it and then use pins to secure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope that this video was as detailed as possible thank you all so much if you have any questions to ask please don't forget to ask in the comment section and i'll be there to attend to all your needs and all your questions thank you all for watching